Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Tops Series 1 Baseball. Six box jumbo edition, random team break number five. One spot gets you three teams in these random team breaks. All cards ship, 10 packs per box, 46 cards per pack. It's a big one, it's a jumbo. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's triple your names up. There's one already, then there's two, then there's three. And all teams are in. Let's roll it and randomize it. Two and a one, three times. Names and teams, three times. One, two, and three. We got John down to Reed. Two and a one, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. After three, we got Oakland down to Cleveland. We will give you a little uh, trade window uh, to trade. Trade window to trade. That's what the window's for. All right, John, you got the Oakland A's. Kevin with the Red Sox. Rick with the Nats. Michael with the Rays. Matt with the uh, Tigers. Levi with the Blue Jays. Michael with the Rockies. Josh with the Rangers. Greg with the Phillies, Chris with the Mets, Rick T, Angels, and Reds. Kevin with the Cubs, Levi with the Pirates, Reed with the Giants. Josh, you got my Dodgers. Chris with the Braves, Reed with the White Sox, John with the Bronx Bombers, Matt with the Snakes, Greg with the Fish, Kevin with the Friars, Chris with the Brew Crew, Levi with the Cards, Josh with the O's, Greg with the Strohs, Matt with the Royals, Michael with the Twins, uh, John with the M's, and Reed with the Cleveland Guardians. All right, let's sort by team, alphabetically by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll pop open another full case. Stick around. I'll be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us here on Wednesday the 16th. Some more Series 1. This is uh, three random team, number five. So these are the breaks where you get three random teams each. That's why Matt has a triple last spot mojo right here. And um, Michael getting randomized. The uh, Michael Gallucci getting randomized. The Tampa Bay Rays. All right, another full case. Here we go. Good luck. No, I'm good, Tim. I've got I've got a gold medal game here. Canadian women versus our American team here. USA, they need our support. They're down three goals. Topper up there, the silver packs over here. Good luck, boys and girls. Rex is wondering if there's any cases of 1952 tops that actually exist. Yeah, Joe P's right. They're at the bottom of the Hudson River. When they told uh, to throw those caves in the ocean, someone had to keep one at least. I don't think so. Because at that time, they were, at the time, they were worth like nothing. So I don't think anyone wanted to keep a bunch of worthless baseball cards. So, And the idea of, oh, maybe this could be valuable in the future, that's a modern concept. That's a, that's a concept that's sort of reemerged in the last like 20 years or so, but... Back then,
Yeah, that wouldn't even cross someone's imagination back then. Nowadays, you know, people would be like, uh, <laughs> were they all Dodger cards? No, they were they they were the cards of a professional baseball team in Utah where you live, Logan. Oh wait, you don't even have professional baseball. I wonder how many cases got dumped. I don't know. So I think the number it's like a it's like when you catch a fish and the fish becomes bigger with every story you tell. I think some people said, oh, it was a. Uh, some people would say, oh, it's. It was a pallet of cases. And someone who was like a whole barge was thrown in. Nowadays, like it's a shipload. Well, not when you come at me like that, Logan. You got to watch out. All right, we got a nice short print here. Gavin Sheets in front of the cornfields of the Field of Dreams. And that is short print 6-0. How many minutes are left in this Lakers game? That's for the White Sox. That's for Reed. And the White Sox. There you go, Reed. So a rookie short print is always nice to get in a big base heavy set like this. Four minutes left. Let me know when it's two minutes left. And if the, if the Lakers are still close, then maybe I'll switch over. Or if when the, whenever the second period ends. Corbin Burns reveals, almost always, reveals a Wander Franco. Yeah, that was a fun game, right? I've actually been to the Field of Dreams. Pretty fun stuff. Rays, Michael Gallucci. Henderson die cut. Is that going to be an every year thing? The, uh, the Field of Dreams game? That would be nice. It's a cool spot. Cool part of the world. I mean, that stadium is still there, right? It's not like they built that thing and then, <laughs> and then nothing's happening there, right? We got Charlie Morton. Out of twenty twenty two. Tim, let me know when there's two minutes left. That's when I'll change it. Oh NL this year. Are they gonna switch off every year? NL teams, AL teams, NL teams, AL teams. Oh, it's supposed to be Cubs and Reds this year. Tim, yeah, let me know. Is it two minutes? I don't know if Tim is, Tim's volume is working right now. When you say jump, Tim, I don't say how high. That's not how it works. You tell me when it's two minutes, and I can, then I'll change it. Blake is down by three, two minutes left. I'll change it. It's Charlie Blackman. 
to two ninety nine. Rockies. That'll be for Michael Gallucci. Do you remember? Uh, do you remember this? This man. Uh, I have no idea. Because this, this one doesn't say it like, obviously, like this one will say like A New Hope, you know? Huh. I've never heard of it. This must be from the animated series or something like that. Oh, it doesn't look animated, though. I guess it is. Maybe it is? He looks old. I don't know. Actually, I actually I don't know. All right. Tim Raines. On card autograph for Reed and the White Sox. Got the White Sox short print. Got the White Sox autograph. Did you say the Lakers are looking really good lately? I would disagree with that statement as a Lakers fan. And you got Chris Bryant, Major League Material. Team USA. And a Ted Williams die cut. All right, Team USA looking looking alive. Let's see if the how the Lakers are looking now. We got minute 24 left. Tim didn't tell me when they were down to 2 minutes. Come on, Tim. Nice Wander Franco. I didn't miss out on anything. I've got the game on right here, Tim. I'm seeing the best part of the game right now. And the box topper was Casey Mize. That was Wander. Wander Franco out of the silver pack going to uh, Michael Gallucci and the Rays. It's out of a silver pack. It's got the Mojo Refractor on it. I don't know how big that card is. Maybe if it was numbered, it'd be pretty big. Still, still a solid card out of the silver pack. It's Wander Franco's name's on it, so...
we were saying on the pregame show that 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 Utah has won like like eight or nine games in a row at home, but I think they've lost like the last five or six games on the road for some reason. And I don't know how much of that includes, you know, a full, fully healthy Utah team, but for whatever that's worth, because Utah's not a title cleanser. Title cleanser. Well, you got to win on the road to win titles, right, Joe P? All right, next box. Out of 300, Tim Anderson. Oh, White Sox having a nice break. That is another one for Reed. Now, the out of 300s uh, is the advanced stat card, 65 out of 300. So it's just a different parallel. I don't think it looks any different on the front. It's just numbered, but still cool. Top loaders here. Look at LeBron looking like Obi Wan Kenobi or something like that on the bench, taking a break. It's a long replay. Inadvertent whistle. Hmm. I don't think he's sleeping. I think th I think he's got like some. He's Meditating, yeah. It's got like that Jedi focus. It's like Obi Wan Kenobi, like Yoda, or something like that. Oh, good steal. <laughs> Is he, Jay? Have you been tracking, tracking his weight every year? Archie Bradley, 20 out of 22. Look at that. That's a cool photo. That's Gregory with the Phillies. Maybe who got some good weed from Marshawn Lynch? Is Marshawn Lynch at this game? Seems silly to get it from Marshawn Lynch when you can get it from anywhere in California. 
All right, there's Christian Yelich, Milwaukee Pride, City Flag Patch. Those are pretty cool. Chris Parent with the Brew Crew. Ooh. One point game. Lakers up one, 36.6 seconds left and counting. Austin Reeves sinks a three. Austin Reeves. <laughs> Joe P, that's that's probably one of the one of the cleverest things I've heard you say, Joe P. It's pretty good. And there's your autograph for Miami, Anthony Bender. For the fish, Gregory with the Marlins. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's hilarious to see Kanye melt down like that before the Super Bowl or if it was just sad. It just... I don't know, a little bit of both, I guess. Maybe leaning more sad now. Hilarious at the time. Sad in retrospect. Austin, Austin Reeves has been, been a nice bright spot for the Lakers season. So that's just a two. Wander Franco, and that's another box in the books. Future stars, Alex Kirilov. <laughs> it's a good show, Tim. Although, I don't know. Recent years, it's hard to keep up with the Kardashians in recent years. The early years are pretty entertaining. Yeah, right, Jopi? Nothing wrong with that. Early seasons were better, though, I think. pretty confident in my my masculinity to watch anything Tyler, what's going on? How are you?
<laughs> Jay saying Westbrook heating up for that MVP. Maybe MVP of the week. MVP of this game, maybe. I don't know. I don't even know what his numbers are. Lakers hitting their free throws? What, what what team is this? I think Lakers are like the worst free throw shooting team in, in the NBA or close to it. Off the glass. Got to get those rebounds. Good. Wow. And Tyler's reporting that the Nuggets hit a buzzer beater over the Warriors. And for 2022, we've got, oh, batting average leaders. We've got to randomize this. So we'll randomize it between these three teams right here. Now, I know there are base versions of this card. There are so many of these cards. We're probably going to evenly distribute them to each team. But for numbered one, we obviously want to give it to one team. So no majority rules or anything like that. Just straight up randomizer as always. Yeah, nice win for the Lakers. Good, good gutsy win after AD goes down. I'll take it. Good for them. Now, they, if they're looking alive tonight, Jay, Jazzy J. But let's see if uh, let's if they could keep it up for you know two games and then three games and then four games. Let's. You think if this injury happened like two days before the trade deadline, would they have done oh. something? Or That's a they... very good question, Jason. I don't know. Mm. No, right? Because you can't. No, you I can't think. Davis, right? No, and Davis. I think they'll just be like. That's that's just the season, you know. That's like that's a Mike Yashemsky short print for my rivals, the Giants. Read. Did they win? They did. Oh, okay. Yeah, Aaron Donald just been partying all day. Yeah, Aaron Donald just like parade, goes to the Lakers game. There wasn't really that many people. Courtside the did Lakers. You see that? Yeah, of course. That's funny. Yes. People are getting all upset though, like, oh, well, they, they have the most uh, viewed people watching at home, like, in LA. I was like, well, take everybody <laughs> okay. now that's like, watching the Super Bowl, like, chill. And then, like, I, I mean, guess they're like, yeah, but they didn't show, like, the main rally when they finally I'll, the I'll bet the Clippers parade would have been bigger than, yeah, than the Rams. Their yeah, like, Rams are the fourth team. Lakers yeah. parades are fucking wild. I was like, Kings are fucking crazy, too. Right. Actually. I mean, they're. Rams are like the fifth team in town. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, no, true. Dod Dodgers Lakers parade will be huge. Kings parade would be huge. Even a Clippers parade would be huge. Yeah. People getting all upset. It's like, sorry, you know, sorry, Rams fans. Come on, Rams fans. You gotta, gotta be in town for a little while before you start asking for respect. Oh, Corbin Burns means usually means Wander Franco. There he is. That's another one for Michael Gallucci and the Tampa Bay Rays. Yeah. 
And out of 71, Steven Matz for the Blue Jays. That is Levi with Toronto. These black borders look really sharp. It's a nice contrast to, to the white there. 25 out of 71. Yeah, maybe Rex is right. Maybe it's Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis was the problem all along. He gets injured, the 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 Lakers win. What? And Fernando Tatis Jr. Nice MLB silhouetted batter logo. That'll be for Kevin and the Padres. I don't know how much value these have on a secondary market, but they look really cool. Logan saying Jazz are going to the finals. Guaranteed. No, no doubt in your mind. Sounds like you need to put down... How much money do you have down on this? It's all talk until money goes down on it. That's what I think. No doubt in my mind. That sounds like... Sounds like a big play. <laughs> no, I think, uh, I think the Jazz are behind the, the Suns to make sure they, they, they don't threaten the number one seed. I don't think they are going to, but... And we got Jason Junk. Is it Junk? Really? Or you think, you think it's Junk? As of now, it's Junk. Well, you seem so confident, Tim. I wanted you to take uh, Angels, Rick Thomas. I wanted you to take uh, take advantage of that confidence. We've got Giancarlo Stanton, Major League Material, Yankees Relic. Going to John. Is it Young? Pronounced Young? That's what I figured. Or Young, I guess. All right, Silver Packs. Garrett Crochet for the White Sox was your jumbo, your box topper. Silver Packs. Oh, and a Wander Franco. Out of the silver pack. No parallel, just regular Wander Franco, but still nice, still nice. It's, it's two for uh, Michael Gallucci and the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, halfway through this full case break. Got about another 35, 40 minutes to go. Dylan Carlson box topper here are the silver packs. Every time you say silver packs, you have to sing it. 
I know, it's, it gets stuck in your head. Silver packs, silver packs, it's big hit time in the city. Yeah, sons, sons do have depth. When you're, uh, <laughs> when you, when you're picking top five in the draft for the last like ten years, yeah, eventually you're gonna get some depth on that team. A lot of top five picks. It's a good way to build depth. Even so, I do think the Suns must be Suns must be on the in the top three teams that have played the fewest different starting lineups. You know, so yeah, I mean, Suns have def definitely gotten gotten their share of injuries and COVID protocol stuff going on, but I still think they're they're in the top five definitely maybe even top three teams that have played the fewest different starting lineups. I think every, you know, like as opposed to the Lakers who have probably the most different starting lineups they put on the floor, close to the most in the entire league. Ooh, out of 25, Christian Vasquez. Some of that digital camo pattern in the background there. Twelve out of 25. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Injuries happen. Booker's miss games. Blah 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 blah. But I think it's hard to really just say, "Hey, th they got lucky with injuries." I think a better way, especially for basketball, I think a better way to look at it is like, "Hey, how many different starting lineups have teams fielded?" I'll bet Jazz are up there too, Logan. I'll bet your your Jazz are probably up there in terms of they're probably close to the Lakers in terms of how many um, different starting lineups they've had to they've had to put out on the court just because of various. Injuries and stuff like that. I mean, Joe P's right. You, you know, you gotta you gotta build the best team possible. If you have good depth, it's not gonna affect you as much. But, but, you know, and, and no one's no one's gonna have too much sympathy for my Lakers. But I don't think Anthony Davis, LeBron James, and Russell Westbrook. I think the three of those guys have played together like less than ten games. I want to say, which is kind of crazy to think about it. They've played together in less than 10 games. Maybe, maybe a couple more since, you know, in, in recent days, but but I don't think it's very many games. I don't, I don't even know if it's, if it's 20 games. So, I mean, that's a, that's a big problem for the Lakers. It's just what happens. You'd like Aaron Holiday? Aaron Holiday, the Holiday family beloved in Los Angeles. They've got a... You know, I, I for, from all accounts, they've got a really solid family. You know, really talented. All the Holiday brothers are pretty good at basketball. And they all looked really solid in their in their time at UCLA. Another Wander Franco from Michael, and behind Wander Franco is a Ryan McMahon. Cool shot. And that is for Michael and the Rockies as well. 465 out of 499. Is he the is he the youngest holiday? Or is he the middle one? Is it is it Drew, Aaron, and Justin Holiday? Check this out, 
Oh, he is, he is the youngest holiday, yeah. Jazz Chisholm, Miami Pride, City Flag Patch card for Miami. Gregory with the fish. How's Team USA doing? Canada is still up three one. This could this could this could still be a game. It could still be a game. Michael L. saying all wasted paper on useless base cards? Not for us. I mean, first of all, all cards ship. Second of all, when vet commons don't ship, we collect them and collect them and organize them by sport. We sell them to, uh, we sell them in like 500 card account boxes. We put all the money towards charity. And in this case, all cards ship. And you can do the same thing too. We make sure our our base goes to good cause. Yeah, kids love buying this this stuff. It's a good early way to start getting them to collect and learn about the hobby and collect some of their favorite players. Ronnie Dawson, baseball stars, autograph for Houston. That's for Gregory. Yeah. So if you wonder where all of our veteran commons go when we say no vet commons ship, then that's what happens. In this case, all cards ship. There's Wander Franco, 1987. Nice, yeah, Logan donates yours to the kids' hospital. Yeah, a lot of boys and girls clubs or kids' children's hospitals will accept, will accept these. Yes, I think so. I th I've heard that too, Chad. That they printed a lot more of this series one this year than in previous years. So there's Dustin Pedroia. Boston Red Sox relic for Kevin M. What well, can you look up? Uh, like twenty twenty and twenty nineteen. Get some get some pre pandemic numbers in there too. I don't I don't know what. I don't know what their rhyme or reason is. I don't know how they decide that. Like, I, I wonder if it was always this amount, that only in recent years had they cut production a little bit. I, I want to say it's Series 1 has always been a lot. <laughs> All right, 
box topper, Dylan Carlson. And the penultimate box, second to last box. It's Tristan McKenzie and Silver Packs. What about 2020 and 2019? I don't think that'd be good for your pipes, Joe P. I don't know much about plumbing, but I feel like I don't think that that'd be good for your pipes. You might want to check your uh, you might want to check your homeowner's manual <laughs> or your uh, your plumbing manual, whatever the case may be. when everyone was hoarding. Now it's just more expensive, I guess. Yeah, Michael. It's a good cause. You know, not a... These, uh, things are useless. Things are useless if you can't think... Of, if you can't think of a uh, use for it. But if you can find a use for it, then you can turn it, spin it into a good cause. All you guys think, I always got to be, be creative about it. Well, listen, didn't cross your mind that in today's car market, the kids would like regular base cards? I mean, listen, we're talking about like kids that are like maybe middle school, early teens. They'll finally wise up to like what has value, what doesn't. And we got some really sharp kids that come into the shop. But there are kids, I mean, there are kids that are like, you know, they're like five, six years old that they just want to want to get some cards and just goof around with it, you know what I mean? And it's just an easy, cheap, and early way. Ooh, nice home field advantage, Vlad Guerrero Jr. This is a nice, nice early way to introduce kids to the hobby, too. You don't want to start them off with, like, flawless cards. Nice one. Who's got Toronto? Levi. Toronto. Very nice. You know, and I always like to say, Michael, is that in 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 a in a in an era of where where everything's so digital, you know, Kids do really light up when they're like, oh, I actually, I actually have this tangible thing that I can hold on to. Wow, 2019 was out of one out of six. But you think that just, in, you think they just made gold just more rare or more common or what? Maybe gold was one out of six, but does that work <laughs> math wise? Maybe the pack numbers are the same, but the gold was just out of six packs. It was just more common. I don't know. Does that directly correlate to like how many packs they're printing? got Max Kepler 2022 that'll be for Michael and the twins and there's Tati I don't know why this is flipped around sometimes those can be autographed I don't know if that particular one is short printed 
but every once in a while some of these are flipped around so I don't know we'll, we'll just leave it just in case it's something special Anthony, 98 out of 199. Anthony Bender for the Marlins. Do we have any Kobe autographs? Yeah, I'm sure we have Kobe autographs around here somewhere. Gregory with the Marlins. But I don't know. Our, we only sell singles on the retail side of things. So it just depends. On, on what we have in stock and how many are picked up. But I don't know if we currently have any, but we have had some before. So Rex is saying he's found a print run numbers for Series 1 parallels. Yeah, are they making it harder or are they making more, or are they printing more packs and boxes? What's, what's the conclusion on that? Maybe probably both. There's Nolan Arenado. Yeah, uh, Chad, I don't think anyone's really buying I don't think anyone's really buying this for the base, right? Although people always make us fuss if we say if we say the if the vet if the commons don't ship. Ozzie Smith autograph. All right, see you, Joe P. That's for St. Louis. That's going to be for Levi and the Cardinals. Yeah, but I mean, I think everyone expects that Wander base to fall significantly as more get pulled, and that's what happens almost. That's what happens every year. Bowman too, all the Bowman stuff. Another Wander Franco, and eleven out of twenty-five Mookie bets. Moogie Betts two color patch. But I think it's almost good that it is hard to hit stuff. Just hopefully gets the uh, value still up, you know? I mean, there's a reason why people are buying, <laughs> yet, yet you still buy. I mean, there's a reason why people are buying these, Chad. I mean, Jason hasn't stopped ripping open boxes of that stuff. We did nine cases. We sold out almost pre-order day before. And there's a reason why people are chasing here. It's Tristan McKenzie and your silver packs.
Raphael Devers, different color there, out of 99. <laughs> Logan, thanks for asking. My hands are okay. Actually, it's sort of my upper back shoulders, I think, kind of stiffen up a little bit. Here, the hands themselves are okay. That's right, Old English. I think everyone, I think everyone pretty in our crew community understand that. Let me try to make that as clear as possible too. We're not trying to pull the wool over anybody's eyes here at Jaspies. Nate Pearson, Future Stars, Jumbo Card, Flamethrower going to Toronto, Levi. Top Series 1 or Bowman Draft, which is worse to break? Uh, draft. Draft, I think, just because a lot of times we don't ship paper in draft. So during the break, I'm I'm shifting. I'm I have to kind of on the fly uh, separate the um, separate the paper from the chrome. So I guess they're they're both equally kind of you know difficult to break, but not difficult, but just just takes a while. But yeah. It's a good thing though, Chad, isn't it? It's harder to hit. It's more valuable if when and, when and if you do hit it. I mean, if if it was one out of every, if gold was one out of every five packs or something like, something like that, then people would complain that it's too common. That's not worth anything. So I feel like it's if I, I feel like it's going to have to be one or the other. If you want more gold, it's not going to be as valuable. You know, if it's more common, not valuable. It's Greg Soto, one uh, thirteen twelve at a twenty twenty two. Right, that's exactly what it is. It is all relative, and you know, and it all it's all relative to what what people's acceptable level of risk is. You know, not everyone. If if you had you know X hundreds of dollars to spend in the hobby, you know, there are few people. There are not a lot of people that would jump in on this, or maybe more. Some people jump in on this, and some people would be like, "No way, no way, I'm buying Series One." You know what I mean? So like, I think that. Uh, 
you know, I, th I think it's just relative. It is relative. And it's relative to whatever your acceptable level of risk is. You know, there are some people who would buy into Flawless all day long. And some people are like, no way I'm buying Flawless. I'd rather buy Series 1, you know, with the same, with the same money. So it's all different. That's what's the beauty of the hobby. This, you know, and the beauty of group breaks. You know, we'll try to configure things to, to try to fit as many budgets as possible. And and there are so many different products nowadays. You're able to kind of you're able to kind of figure out. Hey, I like this more than that. I would rather spend more on this, more on that. <laughs> yeah, old English Chad. Chad's been a customer with us for a little bit. I think he gets it. I think he's just marveling at how the odds have just changed for those gold cards. He's been breaking with us for a while. He, he knows what he's getting into. Nice Kalanick. Is that not? A, did I miss a Kalanick that was should have been numbered? Sorry, it's not. Not sure what card you were to. Oh, I see. No, that's not. Sometimes they can be numbered, but if they are, that's it's usually flipped around. That was just flipped up. But we've seen. We, I did see my first numbered one. Uh, last case. Oh, is, that, is it actually a blue parallel? But it's not numbered, though, obviously, because I just looked at it. Ah, okay. Thank you, Kevin. So it is a parallel, according to Kevin, just not numbered. An insert and a parallel. This is for Oakland. It's for John. Ooh, did the U.S. just score? Is that 3-2? Nice shot. Yeah, and the, these golds aren't numbered either, but they are parallels. Oh, it's only 12 seconds left, though. There's our auto, and it's red. Eight out of twenty-five. Connor Seabold. It's like a, it's like a good, uh, good name for a sailor or a fisherman or something like that. Connor Seabold going to Kevin, Kevin M, and the Red Sox. Red parallel for the Red Sox. Nice color match. Although I thought that's gonna be out of five for a second with the red. Red out of twenty-five. That doesn't make sense. Out of 25 is supposed to be orange. 
Another Wander Franco. Pass, pass it out, center it. Get it out of there. Oof. No, Canada Canada wins. The gold medal match. Canadian women beat the U.S. women. 3-2. It's Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera Relic for Matt and the Tigers. And that's that. Made it. So two silver packs and a randomizer. Could be a bonus auto out of here. Sometimes you can find autos in silver packs. All right. So nothing crazy there, but another nice break in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Josh pulled a one of one out and whatnot. All right, so we got to make two people sad, but one person happy getting this uh, league leader 643 out of 2022 card. And I got, these are the last two Rip Party uh, event packs that we had from last night. So last two being given away as a little thank you. Surprise, surprise, you're welcome. I don't know what could I don't know what's gonna be in those packs, but it could be nice. All right, um, let's flip back to the list. So everyone has a shot at those packs. Top two, one pack each. But the first dice roll, or the and we're just gonna use one dice roll. But the first randomizer is gonna be the Turner, Dodgers, Soto, Washington, and Harper, Philadelphia, uh, batting average leaders cards. All right, let's roll it, randomize it. Five and a two, seven times for each list. We're gonna do the triple first. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven goes to Philadelphia. So there you go, so that's gonna to go to Gregory and the Phillies. Let's flip back here again. Five and a two, seven times for uh, the Rip Party pack giveaway. Good luck. Top two, pack each after lucky seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, top two is going to be... Gregory and Kevin, congrats to you too. Um, I mean, you can feel free to sell these packs if you'd like. I don't know what the secondary market value is like, or if you choose to open it, and if you get something cool, definitely let me know. All right, quick recap here in uh, three random team number five. 
three random teams per spot. We've got another case in the store that'll go off tomorrow. Nice uh, home field advantage, Vlad Guerrero Jr. I want to snap a photo of that. So a lot of Wander Franco base cards and some popping out of the silver packs. Love those medallions. Steven Matz, nice black border to 71. I think that was a short print. So a lot of cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. It's a short print too. We start off with that cornfield short print. I'm Joe. Thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.